And we've got the score in now for match number 11. Let's take a look. Red wins match 11, 199 to 67. Moseying our way back over to field number one. Four teams ready to show their stuff in this match. Our number one ranked team. But at this point in the day, a lot can still change in our tournament rankings. Let's meet our competitors starting in red with 3507. That's Robotheosis. And let's hear it for their partners, Team 7715. Robotic Lions. Over on our Blue Alliance, we have Team 12868. Ironclad. And 14469. How? And we have the all clear already. Qualification match 13 in three. Two, one, go! As this match kicks off, zone three indicated by the signal sleeves in front of these robots. First cone scored coming from the Blue Alliance. That's how We've seen how rack up the points in Auton using that cone stack on the near side of the field. And how is going to keep moving. They've got four so far looking for five. They want to try to clean up that stack if they can. Meanwhile, right across from them is Robotic Lions on the Red Alliance. They've been scoring some cones alongside Robotheosis as well. But a cleaned up stack by how Drivers, in blue. Pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Big score on the board coming out of auto. Blue Alliance leads it 103 to 73. We did see some bonuses for the signal sleeve interpretation right at the end of Auton, but all of those cones on that high junction from Howe at five points apiece, that gave the Blue Alliance an early lead here in match number 13. Red Alliance hard at work already. A lot of times in power play, we see one of our alliances focus on those high scoring junctions, those tall ones at five points apiece, while the opposing alliance work works on the ownership game, trying to possess as many of those junctions as they can to establish a circuit without many weak points. It looks like the Red Alliance might be working on that. They've got one cone in a terminal. They are going to need one more to make it all the way across the other side of the field. But otherwise, the Red Alliance does have what it needs in order to establish a circuit early in this match. Blue Alliance still stacking those cones almost entirely on the high junctions while Red is spreading out their influence on the field. We do see a change in ownership. Ironclad claiming one of the four-point junctions from the Red Alliance, but Robotheosis follows it up and takes back a five-pointer of their own. One minute remaining in the match, Blue Alliance leads it 184 to 119. We have seen red come very close to a circuit, but not lit up on the board quite yet. Blue is playing remarkable defense against all of those cones. The Red Alliance spread out early in the match. Three seconds until endgame, and we see those beacons placed onto the field. First beacon in play goes to Robotheosis and their partners, Robotics Lions. Ro Robotheosis has a red cone. Lions have a beacon. We see a beacon entered into play, being dropped off to How. It looks like Ironclad instead going to go for that beacon. Let's see where Ironclad will put it. Red has a circuit at the moment. Ironclad looking to break it on a medium junction. And possession changes place from red to blue. We are going to see that reflected on the board in the final two. One. And it looks like as time expires, we do see a lot of red ownership connecting those terminals. We'll check out that final score after match number 14.